Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you once again for tuning in this time to my 2298th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Ah, traders, I'm excited because of the topics on the board. I think you're going to love them. I want to get right into it. Remember, there's risk involved. Put your stops in first. Never trade without them. You can lose more money than you expect if you're in futures or options and you're short, even long in futures. So please be careful out there and know the risks. Let's get moving. So, you know, I'm not quite sure when to take the bow in this video. <laughs> but... Uh, the performance Omni has given, and I've been a good messenger boy and delivered that performance to my OmniX this week so far, has just rocked it. That chart masterpiece, how about that? I'll take a bow for that one. Woohoo! That was an insane call, right? Well, watch what's on the board now. During this week, I put up a crude oil chart at the beginning of the week, and I said, crude, it's about to break pattern and head lower. Well, crude oil does break pattern this week and heads lower, and us Omniacs scored. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Up There. So, this guy upstairs helps us all the time, I think. Bitcoin, let's go there next, number two. I'm going to show you the chart, of course, of crude oil and how it headed lower, as we projected it would. Bitcoin, 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 baby. Flags, they are a flying, and they're flying high in Bitcoin. Buy big dips in Bitcoin. That's what we're looking for on Friday. And then we've got chart masterpiece number two. A new chart masterpiece, a second one in the same week. That's rare, but we've got it. I think you're going to love this. Now, kids, cover your ears because I'm going to tell you right now. On chart masterpiece number two, I call... What would he raise? Bullshit. <laughs> That's what that used to say. I call bullshit. You know the game bullshit with cards? That's why I'm allowed to say it. It's a card game. You know that game with cards called bullshit? When you think someone's lying, you call bullshit? Well, this dip that we just had in the indices, I call bullshit. That's it. I'm putting my neck out on the chopping block. The orders are in. And us Omnis are going to use chart masterpiece to decide what to do on Friday. I want to show you those charts. I think you're going to love Chart Masterpiece. If you want to learn how to read these charts for yourselves, you've got to just hang out in my live trading room. It's free. No credit cards are required. Just come to livewithoscar.com. Simple to join. With no credit card, as I said. You can email address and a username. Join me in my live trading room, and we can go over these charts together. If you're really trading and you're serious about what you do and you consider yourself a trader for a living, then you need to fill out an OmniCamp application now. We've got about 26 days left till OmniCamp. It's this September 16th. You need to call me now or just go to livewithoscar.com, click the OmniCamp banner. Go to omnibootcamp.com if that doesn't make your if that doesn't fit your needs and go to omnibootcamp.com instead. Go there and fill out an application. But if you really want to get this right, wait till wait till you see what I'm about to show you. No one knows, by the way, if these trade setups ever are gonna work for a hundred percent, but I will tell you I've shown masterful analysis reads in these videos that work way more times than they do not. Proof is I've got thousands of fans who've been with me for all these years since, well, I really started on the internet in 19, 1994. I don't want to say it too loud. It shows my age. <laughs> my first websites on the internet were 1994, and I kid you not, I still have people today that have taken this entire ride with me. You can't have that if you're not good at what you do. You want to learn that from me? Get in touch with me. Watch this quick clip. It'll show you what a couple of Omniacs thought about the last trip we had out here. And then, with no further ado, because I'm looking forward to it, let's go look at some charts. But don't forget, put your stops in in case this does not work tomorrow. Yeah, I thought that it was uh, kind of a short amount of time to learn that much knowledge. Um, but he found a way to put all that into your head and in an easy way where you're leaving confident. The first night we, I took my notes, right? Like, you know, and you, you do that at different classes you take, you take your notes and I'd never expected Oscar to take the time afterwards to go come in at night, read my notes and make comments on the notes, answer questions I had written down. 
make comments on my, you know, you misunderstand this, this is how it should be. That's just phenomenal. For a guy to take that extra mile, I mean, he's already taught it to you that day. And to come in and say, let me see what you wrote down, do you really understand it? When you don't have any idea he's gonna do that? Absolutely, that, this just blew my mind when I saw that. Okay, traders, crude oil. ECLV on this one, the October contract. I mentioned crude oil is about to break pattern. And just, we're gonna get short. I'm actually gonna get short and expect that thing to drop. So here's where we were when we thought it would break pattern and the projection came out. And that is what happened. How cool is that? Unreal, right? So, I don't know that we're going to find the setup for crude oil on Friday. We, we, we had a good week so far this, this week in crude and in gold and in the indices when we got filled. I don't know that we're going to go near crude again on a Friday. We'll see what happens. Then there's Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Look at this one, kids. If you remember this chart, I showed this F flag to you. It's an Oscarism known as an F flag when it was just a baby. And I said, I think we're building a bullish F flag. And Bitcoin's been going up since. Well, it morphed into another bullish F flag. And I say buy the dips because it worked well here. And in fact, Bitcoin's been getting purchased, I'm assuming by the street, meaning Wall Street, the ones who can trade it, because ever since it got above the 200 ball moving average, it's been running and building bullish formations. When it got under the 200 ball moving average, it was building bearish looking formations, right? Now we're getting bullish looking formations after that big triple bottom was held a few weeks back, maybe a month or so ago. Bull flag worked, we're in a bull flag now, by the dips. I don't think it's just Bitcoin because Ethereum very much looks the same. The flag's a little bigger, it's got a little more room as Ethereum flips around more. Less participants, more, more volatility, but still the same look. And now, kids, once again, if you're going to do anything with chart masterpiece number two, and I'm going to give it a round of applause, before you do any of what I'm about to tell you, make sure that you say this to yourselves over and over again after, the, after you place that stop. Say this to yourselves over and over again because you might need it tomorrow. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Now look, you're going to need a big stop and you're going to have to keep your emotions out of this. But here's what I'm going to show you. This line, this green line, goes all the way back to here and just never gets broken. Then you take the 50 bar, Wall Street loves it, moving average, and that does not get broken, right? It just holds. Well, guess what we just ran into? The 50 bar moving average and that trend line on the same day that we put in what's known as a swing day when the market goes all the way down, puts in a low, turns around, comes all the way back up and settles on its highs, that was Thursday. That's considered a swing day which changes direction for many trading systems. I'm not saying it would do that for yours, but that's how you look at that. So, you've got a swing day, you bounced right off of this major trend line, and you held that 200 ball, excuse me, the 50 ball moving average. I'm calling bullshit on this dip. We are getting in. It is time to get back on your horses. Chart masterpiece number two for the week. Put your stops in first. Join me at livewithoscar.com. Good luck, traders, and thank you for tuning in.